Well, folks, uh, the boys at 23:24 pouring that slab. Um, it's not that late in the morning here. They're not too far done pouring it, so we're getting good concrete service today, which is is a break for the guys because. A lot of times there'll be gaps in between concrete trucks by 20, 25 minutes. They're standing around, they get bored. So this way they're able to just keep moving. Uh, Juan is over, <clears throat> uh, see, that's a 25, 26, prepping the slab. I did an initial check with him uh, just uh, 30 minutes ago. Uh, looking good. We got all the number five rebar that we need for the center party while the firewall. Um, that's good. Um, Juan just moved his truck and trailer. He was on top of the lot, uh, let's see, what number? 3, 3, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6, 27, 28. The survey pins are in. I just uh, checked them about an hour ago. The hypotenuse is good. Uh, but uh, Bo McGee needed that truck and trailer moved so he can build the house pad today. And uh, I gotta get that message out to him that, okay, now the truck and trailer's out of the way. I am here at 6061 uh, on my phone uh, I can update schedules and everything like that check off tasks for payment uh, of course it's, that's not new technology but unfortunately today just got no signal so I'm handwriting a bunch of stuff in here so when I get the connectivity let me open it up here some rough notes there of what is accomplished what needs to be done like in here's the mechanicals are done with exception of course of HVAC Ronnie's over there he's gonna finish 16 today he told me uh, that he's just gonna keep running this way we just need more skilled labor uh, but here and this is 60 here uh, this customer chose the uh, the vacuum uh, central vacuum system. So let's just show you what that looks like. So this is the rough pipe that comes into the garage, and the unit will be hanging here on the walls. Um, she's got. She's going to have three ports. One right chars, that black rectangle box. There, right by the front door. Going to have one. Right chars, in the. Uh, <clears throat> this is the cafe area and then one coming down the master got the low volt wire oh, everything's all roughed in um, that red stuff that's a waterproofing so every recess shower that gets that wa uh, waterproof and that's what the red stuff is um, what else is groovy cool you know, verifying the dad address and lot number written down help folks out um, now it's not as windy as yesterday uh, but temperature ain't bad at all it, but, you know for June I'll take this you know I mean it's warm you start picking up trash a little bit work up a little bit of a sweat but it ain't so bad all the dots there just saying okay that's good that's good that's good um, but I have in here I need these daggone windows and boy do we need windows and uh, what else we got? Uh, yeah, a couple things for the customers. Uh, <clears throat> I see in the community here both Comcast and AT&T. Um, I have no idea what level of products they're installing. I assume it's the full metal jacket of all the services they got, but you might want to check with your salesperson. Uh, you know pick your provider um, let's see a couple other things everyone's always wondering most of all of course when we're gonna finish and get close but uh, when we do the pre-close meeting again that's the one you don't bring the dog and you know we're gonna shut the phone off and pay attention record anything you like but uh, your utilities uh, I'll bring it up at that time is it'll say within 48 hours to change your utilities here, so we have Florida Power and Light for electric and Tico Gas for the gas. T-E-C-O is the name. We got J-E-A for sewer and waters. Um, so, uh, but I'll have you, I'll give you a binder that has all those phone numbers and all that in there. That'll be convenient. 
Um, let's see. What else we got? This homeowner type stuff you might find handy. Um, oh, you know what? Here's just something. The name of the company is Ferguson Enterprises. They're a pretty large company. Let's see if I got an example in here. No, I don't. Let's see. And anyway, let's just pretend we got a, a loop in here for a future uh, water softener. And now, this is all my opinion, uh, just what I've seen. <clears throat> One of the most common items I find that residents throw into my dumpsters is water softener systems. And that's about throwing away $2,200. So, now I don't know what the price is now, but um, when I did it 20 some years ago in my home, I put in a whole house water filter. Now, it cost me $80 back then, I installed it myself. And if you go to a company like Ferguson, uh, it ain't Home Depot, this is a wholesaler, big company. And, uh, but anyway, I would say, hey, here's where I live, where my house is gonna be. I'm looking for a whole house water filter. And I take a shower every three days. Uh, you know, they're gonna ask you about your water consumption. Do you want surgery water cleanliness? Or you just want general, you know, I don't want spots on my wine glasses. They'll talk with you. And then you say, okay, who's the plumber that installs the most? He'll recommend a product. And you'll say, all right, who's the plumber that installs the most of these? I don't want the guy that installs one a year, right? And uh, so again, I'm guessing the price might be between two and $300. And see, in my system, GE made the, General Electric made the filter. So what I do is I go to the water shutoff in my garage. I would shut the water off. I would open up my utility sink, which is about right there's, bleed the hot and cold pressure down. I unscrew, it's a cylinder, mine's a cylinder shape. Unscrew the, the filter, dump it in the trash. I put another $8 filter in there, screw it back in, turn the water back on, let the air burp out of my wash sink, shut it off and then I'll stare at it for like 30 seconds to make sure I just screwed it in all the way. Um, that's if this did have a, a water softener loop. <clears throat> that's just something uh, you may want to look into. Yeah, I'm, me, I'm cheap, that's why I did that. But then again, I also see tons of these water softeners being thrown away and somebody paid good money at them and as I always say, they didn't throw them away because they loved them. Uh, I ain't talking trash about water softeners, people love them. But, boy, do I find a lot of them getting thrown away. And uh, that's about all for right now.